In this guide, we'll walk you through the full sales flow using the Yoko Point of Sale software, whether you're using it on Yoko Counter or the Yoko Pause app on your own tablet. From the sales screen, you can browse your digital product catalog to find what you need. You can switch between categories, variants, or brands to sell faster. It all depends on how you've set up your products. You can also use the search bar if you know exactly what you're looking for. If you need help creating your product catalog, we've linked the Help Center article in the description. Now that you've rung up a sale, let's add a discount. You can apply one to the whole order or to a specific item. To discount the total bill, tap the plus icon next to Discount at the bottom of the order screen. Choose 2.5%, 5%, 10% or tap Custom to enter your own amount or percentage. To discount a single item, tap the arrow next to the item, then tap Add Discount. Select a preset or custom value and you're done. Not ready to close the bill just yet? Tap the save button instead of charge. Give the order a name like table 5 or Spongilis table and tap save order. To find it later, tap saved orders in the top right. You can open the bill, make changes and save it again. Tip. Saved orders update in real time across all your Yoko devices, including Yoko Counter, Kumo and Kumo Print. So no matter how you sell, you can settle the bill wherever your customer is. To add a note to a sale, tap the add note button Enter the details and tap save. To edit a note, simply tap the edit note button. Need to split the bill at a group table? No problem. When you're ready to accept payment, tap the charge button on your order. Next, tap the split button under the total. Then tap add payment. Choose the payment method. Enter the amount and tap charge. You can add a tip for each individual payment. As each payment is processed, the screen will update to show what's been paid and what's still owing. No mats required. Once the full amount is covered, you'll see an option to close bill. No one loves refunds, but we've made them simple. From the sales history tab, find the sale. Open the details and tap refund. If it's a non-card payment, the refund will update your sales history, but no money will be paid out by Yoko. You can refund the full amount or tap change amount to process a partial refund. Choose a reason and tap refund to confirm. Refunds can't be undone, so double check the details before you confirm. Once it's processed, you can send your customer the receipt or just tap done. Pro tip, if you're using staff profiles, you can control who's allowed to issue refunds with user permissions. If you're using staff profiles, it's easy and quick to switch between users throughout the day. From the cell screen, tap the profile icon on the top right corner. You'll see the name of the current user. Tap switch user and the next staff member can log in with their four digit pin. No full password required. Staff profiles help track sales and tips per member and control who can give discounts, issue refunds or access admin settings. Need help setting them up? We've linked a guide in the description. When it's time to close up for the day, Yoko Pause software gives you simple tools to cash up fast. Start with Sales History tab. This gives you a detailed breakdown of sales and tips by staff member, device, payment type, and time of day. Need a quick summary? Head to the Reporting tab for an overview of your total sales, tips, and payment types, all in one place. You can even filter by staff member or date range, making it easy to close off each shift with confidence. Pro tip, if you're using staff profiles, you can control who can access and see sales history and reports. And that's it. From ringing up sales, offering discounts, to saving tabs, splitting payments, issuing receipts, tracking performance, and switching staff, the Yoko Pause app gives you everything you need to speed up checkouts with tracked sales.